Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. I welcome you to today's lesson on modals and their use. So, we are going to talk about modals. Our objectives for today are we'll be looking at what modals are, how modals are used, and why are modals important. So, what are modals? Modals are words which are used to add meaning to another verb. The basic modals are can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, and must. I'm sure you might have seen all these words or used them in a sentence before. There are other words which behave like modals. Examples Ought to, need, and have to. So modals basically are words which are used to add meaning to another verb. How are modals used? Firstly, modals can only be used together with another verb. You should always bear that in mind. And the verb would always be in the infinitive or the base or the root form without to. So the infinitive form of any verb is the. So let's look at the present ten, tense of a word, a verb. To go, to have, to, to eat. So the infinitive form without to is eat, have, be, etc. So let's look at an example how modals are used. John must go home immediately after school. So the modal here is must. You should return the book to the shelves after reading it. The modal is should. Could you lend me a pencil, please? The modal is could. So you realize that anywhere there is a modal, there is also a verb. Because the modal tells us or gives more information on the verb. Let's continue on how modals are used. So all modals can refer to present and future time. Only some of them can refer to past time. So let's look at those that refer to past time. There are only two of them. We have could and can. So when I was in school, you could get a bowl of noodles for 20 cents. I do not think you can still do so now. So could refers to past time can refers to present time so could so modals that refer to past time in this sentence I think I made a mistake earlier in this sentence in particular is could only could could refers to past and can refers to present because when you look at this sentence with a can you realize that it says I do not think you can do so now. But the could went with was. Okay. So this tells you that could goes with the past and can for the present. Students who enrolled in the computer course will need to bring their own laptops next week. And the model here is will. And it also refers to the future time. Okay. Let's look at modals in their past tense and present forms. So we have can in the present form, and the past form is could. Will in the present, past is would. May. In the present, past is might. Shall in the present and past is should. 
So these are modals in their present and past forms. The importance of modals. Now modals are also used to show politeness. So we often use the past forms to be more polite or formal or less direct. Let's look at examples. So less polite or informal or more direct we can say can you get me a glass of water please? That is less polite. But to be more polite he will say could you get me a glass of water please? Let's look at another example. To be less polite you say will you mind helping me return the book to Jason? If you want to be more polite you will use the past forms. Would you mind helping me to return helping me return the book to Jason? So you see the difference. The past form makes it more polite and the present form makes it less polite. Why are modals important? So modals are important because they are used to express different meanings such as advising. Example, I think you should take the job. So the modal there is should. See for advising. Asking for permission. May I take this seat? The modal there is may. Possibility. We could do it by Friday if you wanted. The model there is code. Obligation. Dad says I have to practice if I want to get on the team. Said so. So the model there is have. An obligation, so just to note, an obligation is something you feel you must do, you feel you have to do as it is your duty or responsibility to do so. So let's look at some of the modals and their meanings. So can or could is used to express ability. I can speak a little Russian. Ruby could see it from her bedroom window. I used to express ability, ability to do something. Can, to request permission. Can I open the window? Might, to express possibility. I reckon it might be Mr. Barkley, said slowly. May, to express, also to express possibility. I may be home late. May to request permission. May I sit down, please? Must is for obligation. I must do this. Must to express strong belief. She must be over 90 years old. Should to give advice. You should stop smoking. Would to request or offer. Would you like a cup of tea? Would if in sentences if I were you I would say sorry so these are the meanings of some of the modals and the examples I hope you've learned so much from this lesson on modals a quick summary so we learned about what modals are and we learned that modals are words which are used to add meaning to another verb we looked at examples of modals, we looked at how modals are used, and we also looked at the meaning of certain modals and the importance of modals. So I'll end here and I've given some exercises on modals and I hope this video helps you answer them. Until we meet again, stay safe. Bye-bye.